Hi everyone, my name is Raj Jairaman, Specialist Solutions Architect for QuickSight. In this video, let's see how we can programmatically obtain details about a QuickSight dataset and utilize that to create additional datasets. QuickSight supports different APIs to interact with QuickSight resources. Using the APIs, you can port content across different AWS accounts or regions. An example of those use cases Customers can have a QuickSight development environment set up in one AWS account, and once the resources are ready, they can programmatically migrate the content to a production environment in a different AWS account. This video focuses on extracting a dataset's information and use it to duplicate the dataset or modify and create additional datasets. This process can be automated to decrease resource creation and migration time as well as increase QuickSight administration efficiency. And this can be also be applied to other QuickSight resources as well. The prerequisite for this video is basic understanding of using CLI commands and Python scripts. A dataset identifies the specific data in a data source that you want to use. It also stores any data preparation you have performed on the data, such as renaming a field or changing its data type. To obtain the details of a dataset using the console, you can click on the dataset and choose Edit Dataset. This is a dataset that I have created that points to an RDS database. The name of the dataset is QS-DS-Video. In this page, you can see the dataset ID as part of the browser URL at the top. It is followed by data-sets slash the alphanumeric characters following that and proceeded by slash prepare. The ID of the dataset is constant and it does not change even if the dataset is modified or even if the name of the dataset is changed. This dataset has three columns and one calculated column called random ID. This column has a simple expression which I will show you here. This calculated field is created just to understand how calculated fields are shown when describing a dataset using CLI or API. This dataset is based on an RDS data source. To see which schema or table the data source is connecting to, click on the drop down and choose View Details. This data source points to a database schema called Public and the database table is Positions. Also, this dataset is using direct query mode as shown over here. And direct query mode is where the data is not moved into QuickSight Spice, but the underlying database is queried every time analysis or dashboards based on this dataset is accessed. Now I want to obtain these details programmatically. To do this, I will use a CLI command to export the dataset description to a text file and walk you through the results. Then. I will use a simple Python script to obtain the dataset description and use it to create a new Spice-based dataset pointing to a different database table. Let's see this in action. The CLI command to describe a dataset is AWS QuickSight describe data set. The describe dataset command takes two parameters. One is the AWS account ID. which I will paste here, and the dataset ID. I will also export this details into a text file so that we can open it in a text editor and go through all the content. Now that the command has been successfully executed, I will open this text file that I just created here based on the command's output. The result of the command that has been exported here shows a status of 200, meaning the call was successfully executed. It has Amazon resource name, which uniquely identifies the dataset, including the AWS account ID and the region. The result also has 
the dataset ID, the name of the dataset, the created time on when this dataset was created, and the time when this dataset was last updated. The element physical table map declares the physical tables that are available under in the underlying data sources. It shows the data source ARN of the data source and it shows the schema of the underlying database being used as well as the name of the table in the underlying database. It also has input columns where it shows the name of the columns as the detailed or described in the underlying database table. Another element is the logical table map. It configures the combination and transformation of the data from the physical tables. For example, it has the alias for the database table name. And it also has data transforms, which are transform operations that act on this logical table. We created a calculated field in the data set, which is represented as create columns operation, where it has the calculated fields name as column name and ID, as well as the expression used in the calculated field. Columns in a data set have an ID as well as a name where the ID doesn't change even if the column is renamed. The project operation shows all the columns which are being projected or utilized. For example, if you exclude a column in the data set, and here, the, the excluded column would not show up under project operation as well as the output columns. The output columns has the list of columns after all the transformation being done here. These columns are available in analysis and dashboards to be utilized. Also, the logical table map has a source which maps to the physical table map using the physical table ID. If you check this alphanumeric characters here, it points exactly to this particular physical table map ID here. To create data sets based on this data set, I have a simple Lambda function based on Python. It makes two API calls. One is a described dataset call and the other is a create dataset call. The code snippet used here is a sample only and it does not have any error handling implemented and it is not meant for production. It is just an example to showcase how you can extract dataset information and create additional dataset. The code snippet here takes the account ID from an environment variable defined for this Lambda function. It also takes owner ARN, which is the QuickSight user ARN who needs to access this dataset and they can view this dataset in the AWS QuickSight console as well. Let's see how this code works. First, a call for the create dataset function is initiated. In the create dataset function, we call the describe dataset function. In the describe dataset function, we make a set API call to describe a dataset. We pass the dataset ID and we also pass the AWS account ID and the result of this describe dataset is sent back to the create dataset function. The result of this describe dataset call would be similar to what we saw earlier, including all the different elements, including physical table map and logical table map. From the result of the described dataset call, we extract the physical table ID and we navigate into the name of the relational table being used in the data set and we change the database table name from positions to new positions. Now we use create data set API call to create a new data set. We pass the AWS account ID. We pass the data set ID as the data set ID obtained from the describe API call and append it with hyphen new. Similarly, we use the same dataset name and append it with hyphen new for our new dataset. Since we already edited the result of the described dataset call to point to the new database table new positions, we can reuse that element and pass it to the physical table map. And since we are not making any changes to the logical table map section, including not make, adding any filters or not excluding any field, we can reuse the same logical table map element obtained from the described dataset call. Now, I want this new dataset to be a spice based dataset instead of a direct query dataset. So I use import mode as spice instead of direct query. I also pass the permissions where the owner underscore ARN is my QuickSight username and I detail all the permissions that I can have 
on this data set. When executing this lambda function, we get a response as 200. And let's go into QuickSight and see if the data set has been created. You can see that the new data set has been created with the existing data set's name and appended with hyphen new. And also we can see that this data set is a spice based data set as detailed in the Lambda code. Let's edit this data set and see what are the different elements available there. We can see we have the same four columns here, including the calculated field and the data set is a spice data set now. And let's see if this data set actually points to new positions table instead of just positions table described by the previous data set. Let's go into view details. And here you can see that the table name is new underscore positions and the table area still remains positions because we did not modify it. This data set points to new underscore positions database table instead of just positions table. To summarize, we saw how to extract details of a quick site data set, modify it and create additional data set. Similarly, other quick site resources, including users, groups, analysis and dashboards can be described modified and migrated across different AWS regions or accounts. Thank you for watching.